beautiful. Right, this is a special little unboxing here, a, a first one for this particular subscription box. This is the Dinosaur Dracula Fun Pack, and you can get it at dinosaurdracula.com and sign up there. Um, and it's a little different than your standard subscription service because a lot of this is uh, Matt just taking some stuff he's got around or you know weird little nostalgic things and putting them in a box, uh, all curated by one guy. He doesn't do a whole lot of them every month, so if you want one, get in quick. Um, but yeah, it just comes in, you know, like I said, different. It's just a plain white mailer box. Open it up. There's some little decorations inside. A Dinosaur Dracula logo sticker, DD up here. And then some candy stickers. This is the November crate, and there's some cool stuff in it. Uh, as you can see right here, one of, this is one of the big draws for me this month. You got one of the uh, either Pack A or Pack B of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collector cards. I don't know if both went out or if everybody got Pack B or what. But uh, basically, if you bought Pack A and Pack B, you had the entire 127 card set. It comes with 66 cards, uh, and it tells you which numbers are in there. And this is just some of the old movie trading cards all packaged together versus the wax packs. Here it is all just in a nice little box set. Some behind the scenes stuff, fighting for their lives, little bios on the back. Um, up, up, and away. But yeah, just some scenes from the movie. Um, and stuff like that. Raphael revives in the tub. So yeah, just some trading cards from the movie. Um, hadn't seen those in forever. And that's a cool little pack. And again, there's, there's two sides to it. You get all these cards in the pack itself. Um, a special little letter from Matt regarding the November crate. Just the Dinosaur Dracula newsletter, very cool. Um, a Pocahontas Pog. Now, I don't know if everybody got Pocahontas. I think this was just a bunch of random Pogs he had sitting around. But hey, look, Pogs. Um, a authentic sample in a little container of there of Urkelo's cereal. I think he does these every month, has a little specimen of cereal. <laughs> Old cereal. It's just one piece. I wouldn't recommend eating it. But there's, he even prints up these little bio cards about the <laughs> about the cereal that he sticks in there. Um, an old set of Arco Ark and toy animals, and every every package had different animals, but it had it comes with a pair because apparently they're going on the Ark. And this was apparently like a gas station giveaway from like the mid 70s. I don't know how he got his hands on a whole bunch of these. You see, I got a couple of ant eaters in here, but uh, just a little Arco Ark fun pack. Um, a printout of the old, and I actually did this when I was a kid. I remember signing up for this. Uh, the Olympic sell a bunch of stuff, and you could win fabulous prizes. Like, if you sold nine items, you got the remote control Rebo bot. And you only had to sell 85 items to get your own BMX freewheel bicycle. Um, nobody sold 85 items. And I think he even says that on the back. And there's a little letter about why you're getting this, and I did this, and it's fun. But uh, just a little nostalgia <laughs> printout of... Uh, these old Olympic things that you used to see in the back of comics. I saw them a lot in Transformers as a kid. Um, a Flintstone fortune teller. And it can tell your fortune. Place the pair of character in your palm of your hand. And the movement, depending on what happens. Moving head is jealousy. Moving feet is indifference. Moving head and feet is in love. Curling sides is fickle. Turns over, false. Motionless, you're in a cold sweat. Curls up entirely, excitable. And basically inside this bag is just a little thin like heat sensitive filament. You can see there's Fred Flintstone. But if you put it on your hand, just the heat of your hand, see so he's curling up. Um, is he turning all the way over? No, he's just curling up. He's curling up completely. <laughs> but you see, it's just reacting to the heat of your hand, but it's very thin and it happens a lot. <laughs> I am either in love or excitable. I think I think both are true. <laughs> but yeah, just you pull you, you pull it off and like it'll it'll flatten itself back out. When you just put it on your hand and it just 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 that just that minor body heat causes it to curl up and twist and do weird things. Put it back in its little protective bag. I remember having some of these things when I was a kid. I don't remember if they were Flintstones, but just, just that little basic uh, heat-activated thing. A pack of chiclets, because they still exist, and these are fresh, and you can eat these. Um, 
some Fleer Ultra Skeleton Warrior six bad to the bone cards. Uh, I have not opened this yet, so why don't we crack this pack and see what we've got going on in Skeleton Warriors. I vaguely remember Skeleton Warriors, but uh, what's the date on this, does it say? Suspended animation cards, approximately one in six packs. Power Blast cards, one in 11. Luma Bone, glow in the dark cards, uh, one in seven packs. No guarantee of limited edition cards for box. Uh, produced and distributed exclusively by 1995, so not quite as old as some of the other stuff in this pack. What do we got here? We've got Jean Grey, uh, Heat of Battle. Uh, I don't know any of these characters. Uh, Psylocke, uh, another Jean Grey. Um, there's a foil card and a transparent Grimskull card. Uh, there's an old... Uh, Mega Death cover. Another four card. Oh, I guess they all have foil on them. Bad Dog versus Stalker. Um, is a clear? Is a transparent card? Luma Bone Glow in the Dark. Ten suspended animation cards. Is this a suspended animation card? Limited. Oh, this is a suspended an animation card. Two of ten. So the the clear card with the art on it. So I got one of the one in six pack rare variant cards here. It's kind of a cool card. It's like Skeletor's younger days before he had designs on all of Eternia and he just wanted to conquer the hair metal band of your section of your local Tower Records. Are they still around in 95? Maybe. Um, <laughs> go back in your pack! Go back in your pack! Whatever. Um, a little pocket book of big cats! And some tape stuck to it. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a little book about Cheetahs and leopards and lions and things. Look at that. Oh, man, that poor goat is getting its butt eaten. That's not good. That 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 bird does not know what is in store for it. Although I think that cat might be high. Um, and, then, and then some weird 80s print on the front and back of it. A special Dinosaur Dracula Thanksgiving mini poster. Very cool. Um, a full-size E.T. necklace. Look at that. It's E.T. It's got a full-size chain. I am rocking this to the next time I hit the roller skating rink. And then one of his own individually packaged muscle men with this custom packaging he made for it with a little description on the back. Um, I got a flesh-colored one, which makes me happy because I, I always like the flesh-colored ones, and I never really cared for the solid color ones. Plus, I got weird were-mammoth dude. Um, which I don't think I don't think I ever had this one as a kid. This one does not look familiar to me, but he still looks cool. Um, I remember these guys from the back uh, and the weird hand thing and some of the weird creatures. I don't think I ever had the mammoth dude as a kid. Certainly not. Don't remember him well enough to remember him. He said in a circular fashion. Uh, but yeah, there is uh, a <laughs> there's the mammoth, and he's kind of cool. Uh, will I take him out of the baggie? Uh, I don't know. Will I take him out of the bag? Probably. I need to get more muscle men is really all this is saying to me. Like, I'm going to spend more money just because I want more muscle men now. I've been I've been holding off. Every now and then I think, I should get some muscle men. And then I go on eBay and it's like, $10, lot of three, chewed on by four-year-olds. I'm like, eh, I don't want to spend that much money on muscle men. But uh, I got to tell you, it, it's, it's scratching the niche. Also, in the box, air and nothing. Uh, that's the end. But yeah, this is, I'm glad I took the chance on this one. Like I said, I saw that you were going to get a random Muscle Man and these Ninja Turtle cards in the pack, and I'm like, ah, what the heck? I will subscribe to that. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to hang on to it for a few months because this is clearly put together with fun and love by, like, one dude. Uh, hard Rock Skeletor. Why didn't Mattel make this one? If Mattel made this Hard Rock Skeletor, I'd be all over it. I would sub to their subscription service. Maybe. Depends on how much they beg me to save save 80s rock. Um, so yeah, there it all is. Like I said, those are the big draws for me, and I ended up getting some cool bonus stuff that uh, I like. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to eat the Urkelos cereal despite any warnings. But yeah, that's the Dinosaur Dracula Fun Pack for November. Join us next month for more weird stuff.